Hello and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. For the past couple of live streams, I've been working on grinding 100,000 Dreamlight. And I've made decent progress. I'm currently at 65,000. I just need one more live stream. And I've spent probably about four or five hours grinding Dreamlight non-stop. And I've learned a lot of cool tips and tricks that I want to share with you today in this video on how to grind Dreamlight the fastest way possible. And let's make a deal. If the video is helpful to you, you should definitely leave a like and subscribe to this channel. We are on the road to 13,000 subscribers. My lucky number, by the way. So let's get it done. So let's begin, first of all, by answering the question. What's the fastest way of getting a big amount of Dreamlight? There's basically two ways to get Dreamlight. First is by doing Dreamlight duties or Dreamlight tasks. Second is by uh, converting dream shards, and I've seen some people saying digging from, for dream shards is the best way. It is not. It is not even close. It's uh, incredibly slow. However, if you do have some dream shards, there's nothing else to do with them except convert them to dream lights. So, first of all, go do that. You can go to a crafting station, uh, click on potion and enchantments, dream light. And here, basically, you're getting 250 Dream Light for every 10 Dream Shards that you have, which is insanely low. It's literally 25 Dream Light per Dream Shard. It's not worth it trying to dig up as many uh, Dream Shards as possible. It's just, it's just incredibly slow. Instead, the best method is by using Dream Light Duties. All right, so let's say you decided to grind for a, a sizable chunk of dream lights, 5,000, 10,000, 50,000 in one big session. First of all, you should do it in one big session because it's you, you can make it way more efficient than just doing a couple tasks every day. Just set aside a few hours if you want a big amount of dream light. Uh, from my experience, you can get from 15 to 25,000 dream light per hour if you are working the most efficient way possible. 15 to 25,000 dream light per hour, which is a really good number. Now, there's a few things you want to prepare before you start your journey. First of all, do not collect any night thorns for at least a couple of days before you start this, because there's a lot of dream light tasks that require you to remove night thorns, so you want them to be everywhere around your city. Second of all, find a spot that is in Glade of Trust or close to Glade of Trust. Glade of Trust is essential in this, uh, and I'm going to explain to you why later. I chose this little spot. I can go pretty fast to Glade of Trust. I can go to the beach. Sometimes you need to do that. I can I, I pretty much have access to many biomes. S third of all, have a bunch of uh, fruit trees or bushes around you. Also, having Wally's Garden nearby could be helpful as well. Also, make sure there's a bunch of rock spots. Well, there's rock spots everywhere, to be honest. And also, dig five holes. Again, gonna be pretty obvious what, what it's for. Uh, also, go into your collection. Check out characters and find, find a couple villagers. The more Dreamlight you need, the more villagers you should find. And uh, look at the favorite things of the day. And try to put all of them in your inventory, the ones that are easiest for you to get. For example, <clears throat> uh, choose a character and uh, collect all three things that he likes into your inventory. For example, um, let's find somebody uh, somebody who is easy. Uh, Remy Food, this one, this one. Shiny Amethyst. Okay, Goofy is pretty easy. We got Cod, Oyster, and Tourmaline. So what I'm going to do... <clears throat> Again, I'm not gonna do it right now, but what you should do is to get all three of these items into your inventory, then go to Goofy and ask to hang out with him, because you will need to give people favorite gifts and regular gifts, so having all three favorite gifts for this guy and having him nearby all the time is gonna save you lots and lots of time. You can do this for one character, two characters, three characters, depending on how many, how much Dreamlight you need to farm. Trust me, this is going to save you a lot of time. Also, make sure to have a cooking station nearby from your base of operation. And also, Goofy Stall. All of these things need to be nearby so you can access them as fast as possible. Again, my stove is pretty far. Put it right near Goofy Stall. 
right near your holes, uh, trees, definitely the best place to set it up is in Glade of Trust. I didn't, I regret it, but I will definitely set it up like this for the next stream. Actually, let me do it now. Here you go. Here is a perfect base of operation. You have everything you need. Ah. Next thing I highly recommend doing is uh, getting your phone. And when you're playing, when you open your dream light screen, when you see all of your tasks, just take a photo of your screen. Just so you can have the reference of what are your current Dreamlight tasks. It's It seems like it's not that hard to remember, but when you have six of them and you need to keep a track of how many of each you've done, you want to have a reminder so you don't have to open the menu every second to check what you've done and what you haven't. And I recommend doing as many as you can from your list of six, claiming them, and then taking another photo and working on the next six. That saved a lot of time for me. So now let's take a look at the tasks themselves. I have a full tasks uh, task in front of task list in front of me, so I'm gonna uh, go through all of it and tell you how would you approach each task for the fastest execution time. So first of all, let me go through the things that you should do immediately. As soon as you see it on the list, do it without even thinking. Those are gonna be things like take a picture change outfit uh, a little tip about changing outfit uh, what i do i usually just go to wardrobe i go to neckwear and i literally just change the necklace that i'm wearing like it barely changes anything and it counts as changing outfit next plant five vegetables harvest five vegetables this is what the five holes are for you can always use them to plant and harvest vegetables from uh usually you will uh, if you use lettuce I highly recommend getting like a hundred seeds of lettuce so you always have lettuce to plant uh, and to harvest because it grows the fastest and uh, grains like wheat doesn't count as a vegetable so lettuce is your best bet. Uh, then sell three vegetables. Again, if there's anything to sell, make sure you have it in your inventory. If not, do not sell it. Wait, because every single item it's asking you to sell, you will have to grind at some point later. So if it sell, if it says sell three vegetables and you don't have three vegetables in your inventory, do not do anything. Do not go and harvest three vegetables just so you can sell them. Just wait. You will get a task to harvest three vegetables very soon. Uh, harvest three fruits. This is why we have a bunch of fruit trees and bushes. You literally just need to harvest one bush per task. Sell five fruits. Uh, again, if you have fruits in your inventory, if you have a lot of fruit in front of you, you might as well just harvest it and sell it, but don't go out of, out of your way. Mm -hmm. Now, things like remove four night thorns, also do it immediately. Just go find four night thorns. That's why we save them. Uh, things like selling, again, selling anything. If you have it, sell it. If you don't, don't sell it. Uh, serve, feed a critter. Now, this one is interesting. You might want to have uh, a bunch of critter food in your inventory. It doesn't have to be their favorite food. You can literally have, uh, for example, a bunch of fruits that will, you, a bunch of vegetables, but also you will get some lettuce and some fruits from, the, from your bushes, from your harvesting. So you could use those, uh, you can feed rabbits, any vegetable, uh, especially lettuce. You can feed squirrels, any fruits. And they will eat them just easily. Uh, and from then, if you if you were doing a bunch of fishing, which we'll get to in a second, and if you have a bunch of uh, Glade of Trust seafood or fishes, crocodiles in here will eat them. So you can feed those. Uh, basically, you can just select whichever critters are the easiest to feed. Make sure it only counts if the critter hasn't been fed today. When you approach a critter and you see like a green check mark in the right bottom corner, that means you already fed this critter today. So it will not count towards the quest. So make sure to feed a new critter. Then you have pick three mushrooms. Again, uh, do this. You can do this immediately. That's why we're based in the Glade of Trust. Partially, you can pick the mushrooms up. Or if you don't have any mushrooms, you can even use your watering can on big mushrooms and it will still count. And if you don't have any of those, then you can do a simple trick. You just take your mushrooms and you can just drop them. And then you can just pick them up. Each time you do this, it counts as one mushroom uh, picked. So even if you pick the whole stack. So you can split it into three stacks, drop them, pick them up, and it's going to count as picking up three mushrooms. Pretty easy to do. 
uh, have a daily discussion. Again, just do it with a villager that's nearby that you haven't talked yet today. Uh, can be anybody. Do it immediately. We have um, bring a friend their favorite gift. That's why we're hanging out with somebody you're holding three gifts for. As soon as you got the task, just give him one of the gifts. As soon as you're done with all three favorite gifts for this character, switch to the next one. Uh, bring two gifts. Literally give any garbage in your inventory to your buddy that you're hanging out with. I usually give people coal that you get from mining because you get a lot of coal and coal is pretty much five coins you can buy in limited amounts. So it's pretty easy to get to give to people. Sometimes, very rarely, you will get a task, water two dried flowers, which I think you will only get if there is actually two dried flowers on the map. I never got it in hours of farming Dreamlight, but I did get it in the past. So in that case, you just have to find those two dried flowers on the map and water them, which is good because you will have a chance to drop a memory. Now, there's a few things that you can very easily chain. So when you get single... Uh, for example, two tasks, mine four rock spots and mine two minerals. If you get either of those by itself, I say don't do it, just skip it. Just do everything else you can on the list, like tasks that I mentioned before that you can do immediately, and then skip it until you get both mine two minerals and mine four rock spots at once. Then you can easily mine four rock spots, which are basically the black rocks, and there's a good chance you're gonna get two minerals out of it. Uh, don't have to use the body, body doesn't count, body drops don't count towards this counter, so just do that until you get four rocks and two minerals and then claim them both. Now, things like uh, cooking, there's a lot of cooking tasks you can get. There is cook with seaweed, there is cook uh, one star meal, two star meal, Four star meal, five star meal, prepare a meal, like a specific meal it will give you to prepare. Serve a meal in the restaurant. Now, sell two meals. When you get a bunch of cooking stuff, make sure to have at least two of them at the same time that you can basically kill two birds with one stone. For example, wait until you get uh, prepare two star meal and prepare a three star meal. For example, because then you can just make one three star meal and it will count as both. Same if you have serve a meal in a restaurant and then prepare a meal, you can literally just prepare a meal that you're going to serve and it's going to count as two uh, tasks at once. Uh, here is a few fun moments from a live stream where I managed to combine a lot of tasks together and it saved me a lot of time. So yeah, cooking tasks are the easiest to combine and I highly recommend not do them as soon as you get them, but wait for them to stockpile two, maybe even three, because cooking tasks are the most common tasks in Dreamlight Valley. Now there's a task to catch three fish and also catch three seafood. Now this is why Glade of Trust is so perfect. This, this biome has the highest number of seafood available to catch. Just picking up shells is not gonna cut it. You need golden or blue bubbles in Glade of Trust. They will always give you seafood. The blue bubbles will give you an, uh, a squid, which is considered a seafood. Here is a squid, so we got one seafood. And gold bubbles will give you a lobster, which is also a seafood. Gray bubbles have a small tiny chance to give you a squid, but most of the time it will give you a fish. So just try to fish until you get both fish and seafood. Actually, I would even argue that if you get catch fish, you should just come to Glade of Trust and fish in just in, 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 in white bubbles. That will allow uh, these bubbles to respawn and give you a higher chance to get more blue and gold bubbles by the time you need to catch seafood. So if you see catch a fish, go catch uh, a fish in Glade of Trust. Make sure not to use up any uh, blue or gold bubbles, just use white ones. And then when you have uh, cash seafood, come and try to get as many gold and blue bubbles in Glade of Trust as you can. If there is really bad luck and you're not spawning any blue or uh, gold bubbles, go to the beach, which is very close, and try to get blue bubbles. They have shrimp in it, so those are pretty much the best options for catching seafood. Sometimes you will 
get super lucky like I just re did right now. I got literally three seafood already done like in a row. Like I got another golden um, golden spot. If not, you might have to catch a few white spots just so they refresh and you get a blue spot eventually. So yeah, this is pretty much all the tips. Doing all of that as efficiently as you possibly can trying to combine as many tasks together as you can like let's see what we have right now so we have catch three seafood i literally i can go catch that gold one and it's gonna count uh i highly recommend to not go to dreamlight duties screen as often as you can it takes a lot of time just take a photo on your phone and just refer to that and as soon as you're done for example you completed four or five out of six the ones that you could complete efficiently combining them with each other or just doing stuff like uh, pick three mushrooms. You cannot really combine it with anything. So you just do it. For example, here I have harvest three fruit, pick three mushroom, catch three seafood. I could do this like all together right now. Uh, if you do have catch three seafood by itself, I would wait until you get catch fish together with it. So you can go and if you don't have any blue bubbles, at least if you fish and white in white bubbles... It will count towards uh, the fish quest. Uh, mine four rock spots. I'm not going to do this one. I'm going to wait until I get the mineral task. Then I'll do them together. Uh, but look at this. I can prepare two star and one star meal together. So I'm, I can just make one two star meal or better. If you make five star meal, it will still count. And it will complete both of these quests, which is incredible. So by just combining a bunch of tasks together, you're going to save a lot a lot of time and you'll be able to grind 100,000 dream light within maybe four or five hours it's possible thank you so much for watching let me know if this was helpful i've been i've been doing this for many hours so i couldn't find any faster way of grinding dream light if you have a faster way of grinding dream light also the benefit of this way of grinding dream light i've been completing so many things in uh like regular dream light tasks for example, for example, you're going to be harvesting a lot of mushrooms. You're going to be feeding a lot of critters. You're going to be uh, harvesting different vegetables for this. Fishing in Glade of Trust, you're going to max it out just from doing this. Uh, cooking, definitely going to cook enough seafood-based meals because that's one of the Dreamlight tasks. Fish-based meals, probably. Cook with spices, you might as well try to target foods that have spices in it. Like, you can literally knock all of these tasks out just by grinding Dreamlight using Dreamlight duties. Thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to all the members. You guys are amazing. We're almost at 100 members. That's crazy. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and see you soon.